You guys ever watch a live stream or see a video online and someone's trying to do a tutorial and gameplay footage and their UI just completely blocks out everything you can hardly see what's going on? Well, that's what I'm here for. I do have an extensive design background and I'm a user interface user experience designer. This is what my UI looks like in combat. You can see I've pushed out and minimized a lot of things to maximize my viewport. Today we're going to go over viewport, scaling, and I'll show you a couple example UIs, both good and bad. This video is more of a general overview, so if you have any additional questions, just feel free to comment below. One of the most important features of the HUD editor is the scaling tool. You can go between 60% to 140% on various elements within the HUD editor. First select the desired element, then on the keyboard, hold down control and then press home. This will allow you to go between sizes. So here's a really exaggerated example of a terrible UI. I just quickly threw this together and I just kind of made buttons very large, throw them close to the center. I've seen this a lot, actually something not too far off. Uh, maybe I'm exaggerating, but seriously, uh, some of the UIs out there are really terrible. Another thing I've noticed is people put everything from the condensed menu onto their hotbar and they hardly ever use these things. Only put on screen what you use constantly. That's how you utilize space well. So what we want to try to do is maximize the viewport. Basically it is what it says it is. Viewport is what you see and what is actually visible. A lot of what the UI will cover is screen space and to me screen space is very valuable. So for this example I'm using a very low level character, only using the buttons that the character needs and this is focusing if you were just to purely click. I'm not a clicker, but I do know people out there click. I've seen you on Twitch, don't lie to me. I'm just kidding, it really doesn't matter how you play. Actually it does, but that's another story for another day. So this is just one layout that I made up. Um, it just focused basic skills, cast bars large, that sort of thing. Something you can play around with. Again, the focus and philosophy here is only to use what you need on screen at all times and then anything else that's subsequent like out of combat or that you don't really use, you can just have off screen. So this is just real quick. Um, what you want to do for hotkeys is you want your hands to just be in this general vicinity. A lot of people I see have the default buttons going one through plus all the way. So ideally you just want to have one hand on it so that you can use the mouse while moving. So a lot of the combinations you can use are like control alt shift while uh, one through five is pretty comfortable for me, but just figuring out your hand size, like, hey, these are the buttons I'm comfortable with reaching to. And so I mainly just hit, you know, shift one through five, control one through five, alt one through five. For a default UI, the Final Fantasy layout is really well done. It's not too much that actually needs to change, just really, um, really minor things. I usually hate default UIs, most of them suck. I mean, look at WoW. If WoW didn't have customization, I don't think I would play it. So this is what my UI looks like. Uh, let's focus on the hotkeys this time though. Like I said, mainly the hotkeys I use are on the left quadrant of the keyboard, so that way everything's in a convenient space and I can get to it. Also, I'm using shift modifiers, control modifiers, and alt modifiers, one through five. Also, I'm using F1 through four for targeting and other various things for my tanking abilities. Again, same philosophy here. We want to make sure we utilize all the buttons that we need in combat. Anything else out of combat, you don't really need to have a hotkey for. I do actually have some things I click, and that's perfectly fine. I hope this video helped you. If you have any questions, just feel free to comment below.